Hello YouTube, it is Everything Me Pan here back with another video and today this is going to be another VirtualBox tutorial and this one is going to be a tutorial on how to install Windows 3.1 in VirtualBox. This is going to be a updated tutorial from the 2015 video I had of Windows 3.1. So it's been a while since I've shown a video on 3.1. So I'm going to show it in here today for you guys and this is going to lead into one of my next videos where this operating system is going to be required to be installed before the next one that is in line. So we're going to go ahead and just get straight into the video here. There's going to be four links uh, for the files in the description as well as a video link. Uh, the video link is going to be how to install MS-DOS 6.22 in VirtualBox. If you do not yet know how to do that or have seen that video, um, but that is needed to be installed before installing Windows 3.1. And then the file links, the first one's going to be for VirtualBox, the second one for WinRAR, the third for Windows 3.1, and I'm also going to include the MS-DOS 6.22 um, files if you do not yet have those already. That's going to be linked in this video as well as the MS-DOS video, uh, which is linked in here as well. So it'll be in both places, so you'll be able to get the files either way. So all of those will be included. And now what we're going to do is head into VirtualBox here. We're going to create a new virtual machine, and we're just going to call it Windows 3.1, and it's going to automatically select Windows 3.1 in the versions list here. So go ahead and click Next. Leave it at the default of 32 megabytes of memory, and click Next. And then we're going to create a virtual hard disk right here. Make sure it's on the VDI file type. Click Next and make sure it's still on dynamically allocated and click Next and then leave it at the default of one gigabyte and click Create and it's going to automatically create the machine for you. And now what you're going to want to do is hit Settings on the virtual machine here. Go to Storage and then this is where the MS-DOS files come in handy where you're going to need to insert the first disk into the floppy controller right here. So once again, these floppy disks will be located in the description, link in the description below and then just click OK and start the virtual machine and it's going to load up the setup for MS-DOS 6.22 so just go ahead and let that come up here and I'm going to go ahead and install this quick for you guys and you will need the CD-ROM driver installed as well so if you do not know how to do that during the MS-DOS setup process watch the video linked in the description it's very very simple to do so you're going to need that installed as well so um, I'm going to install this quick and I'll be right back with you guys once I get this and the CD-ROM driver installed. All right, so here we have MS-DOS installed with the CD-ROM driver, as you can see. And now what we're going to go ahead and do is insert the Windows 3.1 ISO, which once again is linked in the description if you do not yet have it already. Mine's already in that drop-down menu, but you're going to have to browse for yours. Or if you have it in there, go ahead and put it in. And what you're going to want to do is, if you see this drive letter thing come up here, where it says, mine says drive D, uh, that's usually what the most common one is, but if yours is a different drive letter, then do not use D. But in here, in MS-DOS, you're just going to want to type in D colon. It's going to go to the CD-ROM directory. If you type in DIR, it should load up all the files that are on the CD-ROM. And then we're just going to go ahead and type in Setup and hit Enter. And it's going to automatically come into the Windows 3.1 setup here. So on the welcome screen, you're going to want to hit Enter to continue. It's going to ask if you want to do the express or the custom setup. Um, the recommended one is express, and that is the one we're going to do. So click enter, and we'll go on to the next step. And now we are in the GUI interface part of the setup. And it's going to ask you to type in a name. We're just going to type in the classic channel name here and click continue. And it's going to verify that you typed in your name correctly. Click continue after you've done so. And it's going to copy all the files over. And it's going to ask to install a printer. Just cancel this since we don't have one to install. And then it's going to ask what program to use for edit. Just do MS-DOS editor and click OK. And it's going to ask if you want to do a tutorial. You can run this if you want. I'm going to skip it for now since I already know how to use this. And there you go. Windows 3.1 is already installed. It's as easy as that. So you can go ahead and remove the ISO now. And we're going to go ahead and reboot MS-DOS here. And after that, is been rebooted all you got to type in now is win and hit enter and it's going to automatically load up into ms dos or not ms dos windows 3.1 my bad um so 
that is it there you go you got Microsoft Windows 3.1 installed on here and that is the tutorial so thank you guys for watching this video if this did help you out and uh, if you enjoy these videos make sure to leave a like below and if you guys have any ideas as I say in every video that I do um, if you have any ideas that I should do for future videos make sure to leave a comment down below or if you guys are having any issues with installation I can try and help you as best I can just make sure to comment down below and I'll try and get back to you um, on that if I know exactly what the problem is and if you guys are not yet subscribed if you're new watching this video or are just not yet subscribed and been watching my videos make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and if you want to be notified for whenever I upload a video hit the bell button and you will get a notification on your computer or mobile device that I have uploaded a video every time I post one so that is it again thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video